So good morning. We're dealing with a 2002 Volvo Cross Country. Yeah. And I think I have a leaking intercooler. So I want to test it in the car. Right now I have some other stuff apart. I was checking the PVC system. I got oil all over the underside of the car from the front of the engine. Uh, right out by the bumper way back. So I really think I got a hole in it. So not seeing too many other videos. We'll uh, do one up here this morning. So stop by my local hardware and I got some parts. Looks like this will do the trick. I got a snifter valve which is hooks up like a regular tire to a quarter inch. I have an inch and a quarter cap and an inch and a half cap. And we have a two inch to inch and a half rubber coupling. The uh, fittings on the vehicle are only about one and seven eighths. We're going to give it a spin and see if it'll crimp down there good enough to give us a pressure test. The other thing you're going to need is your silicone hose off between the intercooler and the charge pipe coming from the turbo. We'll use all these parts here, put them together and we'll be right back with the next step. So in order to pressure test we have to be able to put air into the the, the, the intercooler. So we're going to use this snifter valve and because it's more accessible I'm going to put it on the inch and uh, quarter cap. So I'm going to drill a hole. I'll give you that measurement in a second and then we're going to screw it in there put a little silicone around it and make sure it's nice and airtight and show you that. Well, I didn't do this during my test, but I put it in here to recommend that you do. Take a piece of 60 grit sandpaper and just sand the flat edge around your cap so it looks like this instead of like this. Not that difficult. You don't need to be too aggressive, just enough to get a little bit of tooth on it. What that does is allow the rubber to get a hold of the cap better, giving you a greater margin of safety. Again, at 30 pounds with a smooth edge, I blew one of my caps out. It didn't hurt anything or hit anything, but I'd rather you be safe. So the book says to drill a 7 16 hole for a quarter inch pipe thread, but uh, that was a little too small. I ended up going straight to the half inch bit and drilling the hole. You're just threading into plastic. You should be able to hand thread it in here. So we'll thread it into the hole and then put the cap in the in the fitting and just kind of kind of press it in as you as you go start and then we're going to take this fitting and loosen this clamp up real good because it's a little bit bigger than on the outside than the rubber and we're going to fit it down into this I gotta get the right tool. You want to clamp this stuff down fairly securely. We're going to be putting air pressure in behind it. Uh, and again, air pressure can be 
you don't want this stuff flying out and hitting you in the face. All this stuff is do at your own risk. Lighten this up real good. So this fitting right here is going to go on the car. Right down underneath these two wires. You can see the right here you can see the intercooler hose. This is gonna clamp onto that intercooler hose. And that'll seal off one side of the intercooler. A little bit of oil down this side too for some reason. So that's the valve in place. I try to put the ratchet so I can get at it with a couple extensions and not have to reach down in the engine bay, scratch my hands up. And again, tighten that up securely. You don't want it to blow off here, and we got to stop all the air from leaking out around it because we can't have air leaks here. Now we're going to do the other side. So the intercooler hose, this is the one that comes from the turbo to the intercooler. And we've taken it off. We take the inch and a half cap, ABS cap, put it in there. That's a seven millimeter. Uh, hose clamp. Just put it in there nice and even. And I can just squish it a little bit and a little bit of oil in there makes this slide around pretty good. So you're gonna wanna again clamp it down nice and tight. There. So we'll go put this in the car and have a look at it. So we're on the passenger side of the car. And right down by the fan you can see there's the plug that we put in the charge hose. And again, long ex follow the extension right down. You can see the clamp for the pipe. That side's secure. Yeah, we're going to need one thing else, aren't we? we got to put some air in it. Uh, the Schroeder valve will hold the air into the system if the system's good. We only need, the max we can test to is about 30 pounds. Any more than that, you might uh, cause damage to your intercooler. So we're going to get set up. I have a really nice uh, pressure gauge. Hopefully it'll work good for us. If not, we'll rig something up. All right, take number one. We're going to put some air and see what comes flying apart here. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Three hundred and twenty thousand kilometers. And the intercooler is still showing good. So my oil leak was coming out of my hoses or out the dipstick, not out the intercooler. Absolutely amazing. But that's how you test. If I had a leak, that little needle would be headed for the bottom as soon as possible. It would just be back. If you don't have one of these nice gauges, you can use a pressure regulator and a regular tire tester on the straight and fill it up to about 30 pounds test it with your uh, 
little tire, regular tire valve tester so you have an idea where it should be and then wait a couple minutes. But it, usually a, a leaking air to air will show you right away. You'll hear the hiss and see the see the drop right off. So we don't have to take the intercooler out of this, we just need to clean up the car. The oil is apparently coming out of the dipstick. We were having PCV valve issues as well. But we just wanted to make sure that it wasn't coming up through the charge tubes and into the intercooler. Okay, word of caution. I tested it at 20 pounds, everything was fine. Brought it up to 30 pounds and lo and behold, the cap blew out. Uh, in other words, don't get your face down in here. And I would say for this setup, probably maximum testing pressure should be about 20 pounds. If you need to go higher than that, you might want to uh, secure that in more, even more. Again, tighten them all up good. Keep your face out of the way, just in case something lets go. You're dealing with air pressure. Anyway. So that's for a 2002 Volvo Cross Country. Any of the P2 turbo engines have this inner style of intercooler in them. If you're not sure, that's how you check it. Have a good day.